Hey, and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today I'm just going to be doing a trash to treasure, craft my stash type video. So I am going to be using this pedestal. I think it was meant for a candle I got um, a few months back at Goodwill and just never did anything with it. I'm using this old bowl that I've obviously used for different crafts. So I'm just taking this pedestal, this candle pedestal stand, and just doing a little bit of um, it's not really dry brushing, but brushing on of a lighter brown because I wanted it to just have a little bit more depth to it. So then for the bowl, I wanted to give it like a marble look. So I just went ahead and spray painted it white. So I am using this different marbling technique. I don't know if you remember the video I did, gosh, quite a while ago. It may have even been a year ago. Anyway, I'll insert a little clip if I can find it but I had done some marbling with nail polish and I thought I would try it with spray paint. So I'm just taking this copper color and some black and I just filled this bowl a little bit more than halfway with um, water and then I'm just spraying the top with the, diff the two different color spray paints and then just kind of mixing it around And if I had a bigger bowl to dip this big bowl in, it would have looked better because I could have got like the color to go all the way around it. But because the bowl, the bowl is so small that I'm dipping it in, um, I have to do sections. So I'm just repeating that same step that I did the first time with spraying the water and dipping the bowl in. And you can use as many colors as you want. I've done so many colors when doing this with nail polish and it looks really cool. So this is the bowl after it's dried and sometimes you get like those bigger clumps from the spray paint, um, you know, where it kind of, I don't know, like piles up. And you can give those a light sanding to take down the, um, the texture of it. So here I'm using some Gorilla Glue to attach the bowl to the pedestal and if I were to do it over, I would not I would not have sprayed the bottom of the bowl with the spray paint because uh, when I went to move this after the Gorilla Glue was dry, the paint just peeled off the bowl. So then I just put something heavy in there so that it would um, weigh it down overnight while it dried. And then this is what it looks like. I just added a little bit of dirt and some flowers. Eventually when we can get out and about and get um, some real flowers. I'm going to put them in there, but for now I just put in some fake ones just so you could kind of see what my plan was. So I also wanted to invite you to my Using Trash to Create Treasure Challenge. It's an open invite and it's a little bit different this month. I usually give you two weeks. I feel like I've been off for the past couple months with getting the invite out. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be the same thing where I ask you to use whatever you have that you would normally throw away, throw in the trash or recycle bin or something that somebody else would have thrown away and turn it into something functional or a piece of home decor because I think right now is the perfect time to do that because none of us can get out and go shopping. And also it saves items from going to the landfill that you can repurpose and give a second life to. So the number two rule is mention my name and my channel name in your video. My name is Casey and my channel is Coffee with My Sunshine. Usually I have a co-host, but because this is so last minute, it's just going to be me. I didn't get a chance to ask anybody to be my co-host because my computer has been down and I didn't know when I'd be able to do this. So Anyway, it'll all be back to normal next month, and I'm going to have a really fun co-host next month. I already have one lined up, so you don't want to miss that one in May. Number three rule is list my channel and the playlist in your description box. Don't forget to mention the playlist in your video as well. Number four, put the challenge name somewhere in your title. That way people can find it if they search for it. And also upload your video on a Sunday, April 26th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will have the playlist up and running a couple minutes before that so that you can go ahead and add it. And number five, have fun with your projects. So I hope to see you there. So this next thing I wanted to show you, I got these Arteza markers. They're really fine tip. They are 
awesome. There's, I think, 72 colors. It has three layers of all these different colors, but I wanted to show you, my daughter was using these, and she made this really cool coffee with my sunshine, I guess kind of logo. She did an excellent job, but she used these and some other Arteza markers. Like I said in the past, I am not paid by Arteza. They just send me these products to try out and tell them what I think. She really loved these, so these will be hers to use, and I will borrow them when I need them. <laughs> but I think she did an awesome job, and I wanted to show you. She is such an artist. I just love that she's been able to do more of it with a little bit more downtime. <laughs> I just absolutely love how it turned out. I think it's so pretty. I will have these markers listed in my description box if you guys want to check them out. So on to my next project. I'm going to be using these. I think they originally probably had those glass pillars with them. I got them at Goodwill. I got a set of two, but they didn't have the pillars with them. So I'm just using this glass bottle that we were going to throw in the recycle bin. It's actually one that my husband finished up and don't worry. <laughs> It took him a very, very, very long time to finish this big bottle. <laughs> I wanted to add a little bit of water and add some stones because I thought that would look really, really pretty. And I am adding some plant clippings to this because I want to regrow the plant. I just um, snipped off some of this. I think it's an ivy plant that I had. This is something my mom used, used to do and she still does it. She just takes clippings and they just like regrow and you just plant them and they grow as normal. Also, April from April Adair Shares has been doing this and she has a couple great videos on how to do it. I will list her channel in my description box as well. So this one is super simple, but I thought it was really pretty. And this way we can see the little roots as they start growing. But I thought it was a perfect way to reuse a bottle that we would have thrown away anyway. For this next one, I am using a pea can and cat food can and a little dowel rod or um, skewer stick and I saw um, my inspiration I'll show you coming up here shortly I'll show you the picture where I got the idea to do this but I'm taking some acrylic paint and painting the outsides of the cans And then I'm just taking a just a fine paintbrush and painting the edges with some metallic gold paint. Looking at this, I wish I would have went with like a rose gold. I think that would be really pretty. But I took the skewer sticks and cut them. I cut one side flat and then one side at an angle. And you'll see what I'm doing with that here in a minute. And I sanded it down just so that they're flat. And I'm using six per can. So these are going to be legs to these cans. And you'll see what I mean. They turn out really cute. And I'm just using some hot glue. And it holds really well. You could use any kind of glue that you want if you want it to be more permanent. So then I just glue them at an angle so that they um, rest on each other. And once the glue dries, it dries really hard and they don't separate. And I did the same with the other can. Thank you. 
this is the inspiration for these cans. I thought they were so cute. They look like little, um, are they silos? Not silos. I can't remember, but you know what I mean. But I think they turned out really cute. And then I went ahead and painted the legs gold to match the rim. And you can use these for any kind of organization or holder. <laughs> For this next one, I'm taking this tea can that holds um, tea bags, and then I wanted like a little handle on top of the lid. So I'm taking some old nail polishes that are that were kind of dried up or I didn't like the color anymore, and I thought these would be perfect little handles, kind of like you would buy at a store. So I thought this one was cool because it had the most, um, I don't know, like a really cool shape to it. And I just took a napkin and pulled out the brush and then I stripped down the tea can and painted that and painted the lid and also painted the handle. I ended up painting the handle the same color as the lid and then in the end just went ahead and painted it black. I should have done that from the beginning. I don't know what I was thinking, but <laughs> that's okay. So then I went over the lid with a little bit darker brown and the brush was a little bit drier just to, just to give it more of a wood look like um, getting those um, lines and grooves in there and then just take a little bit of whatever glue you're using. I'm just using Gorilla Glue because I want it to hold. So then on the body of the can I am just going to write T. If I had cuter stencil letters I would have used those but I couldn't find them so I just went ahead and um, did it by hand and I think this is super cute and it'll fit perfect on our coffee bar and I love being able to use the nail polish lids um, because some of them are really cute and I don't know instead of throwing the whole thing away why not reuse it. And then I am using some Dole pineapple juice cans. This is one of my favorite drinks. If I could stock the fridge with them and have them all the time, I would. I absolutely love them. So anyway, they're super small and cute. So I wanted to think of, some, I wanted to use them for something. So I'm just taking some white glossy spray paint and painting them. And I just think they're adorable. I like anything that is tiny. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. So I wasn't sure what I was gonna use them for. So I just kind of displayed them here with some paintbrushes and some lavender. Well guys, I hope you liked this. Thanks so much for being patient while my computer was down. I have a busy week coming up next week. I have, I think, three or four videos coming out next week. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already and click the notification bell. That way you get notified of any videos or anything that I put out there. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. Thanks so much for all your love and support and I'll see you next time. Bye.